Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now let's get started on this week's video. I'll be using several of these 4 by 5 inch mirrors, but first I'm going to paint these craft sticks with my black acrylic paint. I'm only painting one side of these craft sticks. I'm separating them so they don't stick together. Now it's time to use the mirrors and I'm separating them about an inch and a half apart. This is where the popsicle sticks come in at and I'm just using them to combine all my mirrors. I'm adding extra glue to the back to make it a little bit more secure. I'm peeling all the tabs off so my mirrors can lay flat as possible. And if you are going to recreate this, then you may want to peel the sticker off as well. And also add a stronger adhesive so your project can last over time. I'm using two of these sawtooth hangers to hang my piece on the wall. And I positioned them in two different places because you can get two different looks out of this mirror. This was fairly quick, simple, and easy, and I'm loving how it turned out. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think. For project number two, I'm completing the same exact steps as I did for project number one, but of course, this decor is going to be a different design. I didn't use measurements for this piece, but the mirrors are angled at about an inch. But of course, if you are going to recreate this, then you can use measurements. I'm moving the mirrors around so that the very top mirror and the bottom mirror are level with each other. I'm cleaning my mirrors off a little bit before I add the circle mirrors to the top. I wasn't going to add the middle circle mirror since the popsicle sticks will be showing through the back, but that's okay because my project still turned out fabulous. Here's another one of my unique mirrored designs. I'm loving how this one turned out as well. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. FYI, I continuously reuse some of my craft items. That's why these mirrors are looking like this on the back. Thank you. 
you can choose to add more craft sticks for more stability but since i'm going to reuse these mirrors i didn't add much craft sticks These mirrors can be put into multiple different shapes and designs for your everyday home decor. I'm loving how this piece turned out as well. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. I have nine square mirrors and nine circle mirrors for this last and final project. And as you guys continue to watch, you will see the pattern from the top to the bottom. I'm adding a bit more craft sticks and also extra glue because these are a lot of mirrors and I don't want them to come apart once I get ready to hang them on the wall. I'm cutting these in half to place on the square mirrors only. It's amazing what you can do with these Dollar Tree mirrors. I think this one may be my favorite of them all, but comment below and let me know which was your favorite project for this week.